What is up, YouTube? A9 here, and welcome back to part 2 of episode 14. If you haven't seen part 1, you should probably do that. It's kind of important. Uh, so yeah, that'll be linked down in the description if you haven't seen it. And if you have, well, yeah, the video is going to start like right now. I I'm not 100% sure how to end this, so... Alright, welcome back. I have everything welded up that needed to be welded. Well, it, um, and then for naming the wheels, I did it the basically the exact same way as the rotors, so wheel 5x5 five five left back back, so that would be this wheel right here. So that way, when we're getting closer to being done, I can group all the wheels and get their suspension properly. And actually, I was a little worried about it, um, not looking that great, but just the uh, profile. Hang on, it's this thing right here, because it's going to be the driver's seat's going to be up here. In this area. But it actually looks really cool. It kind of looks like some sort of futuristic Mars transport of some sort. I think, I'm, I think I already figured out a name for it. Um, it might be the title of the video if we finish this in this episode. But at any rate, you guys will figure it out when um, uh, I, it's finished. So yeah. I, I think it, the name fits it really well. So yeah. Um, for the rest of our cargo system, we're going to be doing, eh, this is a pain in the ass, like that, yes. Since we don't exactly have a lot of room to put stuff around here, because, you know, it'll collide with stuff, um, we going to have to do some more cargo up top, but I think on the sides here is a perfect spot for batteries. there do two batteries I know wheels now for some reason take a crap ton of power which kind of makes sense because when you think about it they're electric and you know you get the power of the electric motors think an electric car but still it's kind of annoying we're gonna have to add more batteries around somewhere um but for cargo containers I think figure we could possibly do... Those might collide. Along the sides like this. Um, maybe. Because the majority of the weight I want in these three containers. I don't want to do too many on the sides, because otherwise it'll get a little tipsy. Which is something I had an issue with uh, in my one in the creative world. Which is why I decided to go with the large ones down the center and also I widen it. I knew I was going to widen it, I just didn't want to make it longer, but I think it's fine, actually. Just looking at it. It's definitely going to have a bit more of an issue going on some rougher terrain, but I'm going to avoid that anyways because I don't want this thing to die. <laughs> But yeah, so, um, let's continue on with the front, because I'm not quite sure what I want to do with the cargo. So, the front, I think, is going to come to about here, and actually, I don't want to, no, um, if I do this, it won't be able to fit. <laughs> eh, actually, if we drop the suspension, it might be able to fit. I'm just realizing that now. Damn it. Damn low roof. <laughs> Alright, um... Also, I'm gonna do... Cause I, well, recently figured out while watching uh, Split Seas... Or, uh, wrong, was it, wrong Way Down, I think? That's a series where he's going from the North Pole to the South Pole only using rotors. It's actually really interesting. If you guys haven't checked out Splitsy, check him out. I mean, I don't know what you're doing here watching me. But anyways, uh, he, or is it wasted? I don't know. But in the last episode, they were talking about how when trees hit subgrids, your vehicle doesn't slow down. So I want to do a ram bar that I can retract... Because, I, I'm, like Splissy, I also use trees a lot for braking, because they instantly stop your vehicle. 
which is nice in some cases, but in some cases you don't want that. So I want a ram bar that I can retract on a subgrid, which is going to be under here. I'm going to make a piston, which, yes, it is on my bar, like a responsible engineer. Oh, now here's the question. Yeah, no, you know what, I'm not going to double up the piston. I was going to say, should I double up the pistons, so do two, and put them on the same grid? But, I want to do that, but that's going to be a pain in survival. I've only ever done it once in survival, and oh my god, it took like 20 minutes. <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna go with the one. And as I said, then we have to make sure it doesn't hit this, so that that's fine, okay. Um Let me grab the components for this. Oh, shit, I need power on the rover. Um I don't wanna because I'm not 100% sure I want the batteries there. I don't want to build them. Um, hold on. Wheels. Toggle them off so they don't use power. Tiny battery! Huzzah! Cool, perfect. That's actually... A perfect distance. Alright, and then I do not have- do I have blast doors on my block? No, I don't, because blast doors are ridiculously heavy. Sorry about that. I want one more over. Hmm. I hope this doesn't collide with anything. And you know what? This this right here will also Ensure, well, not ensure, but help with, um, in case I collide with anything that would take out my cargo containers underneath. It'll hit this first. <laughs> there we go. Um, let's retract. Reverse. And then, yeah, I actually can turn that battery off. It, the, where's the baby battery? There it is. Toggle you off. Actually, how long do you Zero seconds of power. Right. Uh, this should be fine if I do this. I, I know it's a blast door block, but small grid, um, the little top area, oh, shut up suit, that little top area actually counts as a collision point, unlike large grid ones, so any of you working with blast doors and then, I didn't need to do all those, but and then you're like your your grid starts clanging out, and you're like, oh, I'm using blast doors. What? Why is it colliding? It's or is it cl why is it clanging out? It's because of uh, that blast door blocks and small grids don't work the same way as they do on large grids. Little dumb, but uh, where is that one?
So yeah. This I might do Yeah, I'll do something like this. So then this way I'm hitting this first if I wanna stop. If I don't wanna stop, I can extend the piston and use my ram bar or whatever the hell you bull bar, I think this is the right term. I know absolutely nothing about cars. Even though I worked in a mechanic garage. <laughs> yeah, that's a story I'll probably tell for another time because, oh, it was a one of the best jobs I've ever had, but, oh, there's a reason why I will never buy an Eson, and I'll have to tell that story one day, but this episode is very rambly. <laughs> So yeah, um, I will get a bit more work done on the tab area, I think. Yeah, I'll get some work done on the cab area, get an actual cockpit set up, and some timer, or timer blocks, uh, programmable blocks with the script running, and then I'll show you what scripts we'll be using to control this thing, and then we can get the wheels set up somewhat, there's, there's going to be some changes on it, because I don't 100% know how this thing will drive, until I actually start driving it, but yeah, so let me get this all welded up in a cockpit set up, and everything, so yeah, be right back. So, while building, I just found something I did kind of stupid, thankfully it's an easy-ish fix. Um, my wheels on this side are one block this way, and my wheels on this side are one block that way. <laughs> so you can see. Yeah. Thankfully, it's an easy fix. Wow. How did I not notice that? Okay, um... Alright, so I got the cockpit welded up, and I added some programmable blocks on this side, which you'll have to get to next episode, because it's been about two hours of recording for me, so I've run out of time. Um, hopefully this episode won't be only two hours. I, it definitely won't. There's going to be a lot that's going to be cut out. But uh, it might be split up into two parts, or I might do some a lot of some a lot of fancy editing. Yep, that that's that. Yep, I can talk right now. Alright, but anyways, if you enjoyed this episode, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new. If you think I can do anything different or have any suggestions for me, let me know in the comment section down below. And have a good night. Bye.